So welcome to this class. Uh, this session we discuss uh, the forward defense table and draw a forward defense table to illustrate how we can use it to answer some questions. So forward defense table. So uh, this is a convenient way for displaying successive forward differences. function. Or we can simply say that it is a table that shows the forward differences. function. So let's give the structure on how or of how this table looks like. So draw so let this be the x values. Uh, this be y equals to f of x. So you write here x1, skip a line, write x2, skip a line, write x3, skip another one, write x4, x5, x6. And the value of the function at x1 is f of x1, so it can be written as f1, or some use y1, it's still, still okay. Okay, maybe let's, uh, we could have started by the first mesh point to be x naught. So let's just try this one. Else. So let's have our starting mesh point to be x naught. So x naught, skip a line x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. So the value of the function at x naught is f of x naught, so written as f naught. This will be f1, f2, f3, f4, f5. And then, so this will be the first difference. So write written as uh, this one. And then we have the second difference of the function f. And then the third difference of the function f. Fourth difference of the function f. And then fifth difference of the function f. And then you can even have the sixth difference, forward difference of the function f. Now, remember we said that by definition, the forward difference of a function fk or f of xk is fk plus one minus fk. So if we have this difference, so this space we are living here, this is f1, f2. So when I put k for zero, so I'll have forward of f naught. So zero plus one is one, and then f zero. 
So it means that the difference between F1 minus F0 is the forward of F0. And F2 minus F1, if you put two minus one, then it means that we are defining F of one. So this space here will be forward of F1. F3 minus F2 defines forward of F2. F4 minus F3 defines forward of F3. F5 minus F4 defines forward of F4. Remember these differences we are writing in these spaces that we are leaving between consecutive values of X and F. And then uh, let's go to the second column. So here now, the only difference is that now uh, these spaces that are within here, now this second difference, so they'd be forward power two, forward power two, forward power two, forward power two. Now F1 minus F0, you get F0. F2 minus F1, you get F1. F3 minus F2, you get F2. F4 minus F3, you get F3. And then next, uh, this space here. Now this column is for third forward, so just write forward power three, forward power three, forward power three. Now F1 minus F0 is F0. F2 minus F1 is F1. F3 minus F2 is F2. These are the column you write forward power four, forward power four, and F1 minus F0 is F0, F2 minus F1 is F1. This column is for F5, uh, fifth difference of forward power five, F1 minus F0, you get F0. And one clear thing that you can see from this one is that uh, this, you see these values here, this diagonal here. Every subscript, so we have F0. And so these values are what we call the leading differences. Values in this diagonal are called leading differences. And you can see that each of them has F0, 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 F0. And when you check this other diagonal, you see that this is F4, then goes to three, then goes to two, goes, goes to one, and then finally zero. Now let's demonstrate on a specific problem. So our question would be, draw a forward difference table. Draw example, a forward difference table for these values. So X values and Y equals to F of X. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and then 9 37 243, 10, 17, 31, 09, 77, 09, uh, 79, 49, 16, 7, 67, 32, 7, 13, 58, 9, 77. Actually, these values are obtained from the function f of x given by x power 5 minus x squared plus 9. So we draw the difference table for this. So I'll have x values and then f values. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember when you're writing them, leave space within consecutive values so that you'll be writing the differences. So when x is 1, f is 9, x is 2, that's 7, 3, 2, 43, 4, 10, 17, 5, 31, 0, 9, 6, 77, 49, 7, 16, 7, 67, 8, 32, 7, 17, 7, 13, and then 9, 58, 9, 77. So those are the values of the function. Now you write forward f, and then second forward of the function f, and then third forward of the function f, fourth forward of the function f, fifth forward of the function f, and sixth forward of the function f. Let's just impose a condition on this question that draw a difference table for this one up to the sixth difference. Up to the sixth difference. So uh, once we have this, uh, let me make this line, uh, this other line. This other line, this other line here. Now, to get the differences, uh, this is what we do. We normally take the lower value of the function, subtract the upper value of the function, two consecutive values. You pick the lower one minus the upper one. And that's the trend to pick for all difference tables, regardless of whether you'll be dealing with forward or backward or even central difference. If you are using numerical values, then uh, we'll be taking lower value minus upper value. So uh, the difference here, to get the difference in this space, to fill here, I'll take that seven minus nine, which will give me 28. Next one will be 243 minus that seven, I get 206. Next year will be 1017 minus 243, and that one will give me 774. Next will be 3109 minus 1017, that will give me 2092. Next value will be 77 minus 7749 minus 3109. Confirm that the answer should be 46, 40. Next value will be 9018. Next value will be 15, 9, 46. Next value will be 26, 264. Can confirm those values. So it is simply given by the lower number minus the upper number. And next one, 206 minus 28, I'll get 178. 
next difference will be 568. Next difference will be 1318. Next difference will be 2548. Next difference will be 4378. Next difference will be 6928. Remember, these differences are written now. There is actually a space between these two consecutive numbers. So this space is what this number goes to. This space is what you write this number. This space is what this number, what this number. This space is where you write, and this line is where you write this number. This line is where you write this number. And lastly, we have 10, 318. Our next one will be 568 minus 178, we get 390 and next will give us 750 next we get 1230 next difference we get 1830 next difference we get 2550 next difference we get 3390 and then next one uh, 750 minus 390 will get 360 and next will be 480 Next will be 600, next will be 720, and next will be 840. And then next one will be 120. Next one is 120. The 720 minus 600 is 120. This is also the 120. And then uh, this will just be 0, 0, 0. So that is the complete difference table for this given function. Now, you may be asked to identify some different, specific differences in the difference table. For example, uh, if you're asked from the table, find fast forward difference of F naught, and then second, second difference of f1 and then say number three third difference is third, third difference of f3 and then number four sixth difference of f Now, uh, to do this, uh, just remember, if you are to relate this one to the general difference table, then this value is what you call F0, this is what you call F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and then F6, F7 and this would be F8. So usually the first value of the function is what you call it F1. Unless they specify otherwise, then that's what will take to be F. Uh, the first value of the function is what you call F0. Unless they specify a different notation, a different value, then that's what we take as well, F0 value. So F1 minus F0, this will give us forward of F0. And then this one, F2 minus F1, this column is for the first difference. This will give us forward of F1. And this will be forward of F2, forward of F3, forward of F4, forward of F5, forward of F6. And then this will be forward of F7, first forward of F7. So when the question asked, find the first forward of F0, then just come to this column and we see forward of F0 is the value 28. So the answer in that given question will be 28 at this part. Now, the second part is second forward of F1. Remember, second forwards will be obtained from this column, this column. Now this, everything here has forward squared, forward squared, 
forward squared, forward squared, this is forward squared, forward squared, and this forward squared. So this was one F1 minus F0. So this would be F0. F2 minus F1 is F1. And then this would be F2. This would be F3. This would be F4. This would be F5. And this would be F6. So it tells us that the equation which we have to answer, second part of F1, I will be given by this value 568. So this would be the uh, second forward of F1 is 568. So the answer here will be 568. Now, these third forwards are obtained in this column. So this is a column that will help us to get the third difference. So remember everything here is having third difference third difference, third difference, third difference, third difference, third difference. So one F1, F0, this is F0, uh, this would be F1, this would be F2, this is F3, F4, and then this is F5. So the question wants us to find third forward of F3. So third forward of F3, we can clearly see that the answer is 1830. So we say the answer here will be 1830. Now, sixth difference of F4. Now, remember these are the, is just, you can actually just label all this one. So remember this will be fourth F0. This will be fourth F1, fourth, F2, fourth, F3, fourth, F4. And this will be fifth, F0, fifth, F1, fifth, F2, and then fifth difference, F3. And this will be sixth, F0, sixth, F1. Sixth, F2. Now, these are the values we have according to what we have in the table. Now, six, F4. You may be attempted to say zero, but please, uh, we can't, uh, uh, from this table we have drawn, then we are not seeing the value which is labeled six of F4. So therefore, according to the table we have drawn, we'll say that this is not applicable. As per this table, we can't read that value from this given table. Though if you have to extend it, then you know that uh, if you extend it for more than X value being nine, you may be able to get that value, but with the table that is already given, we can't read that value. So we say that now, uh, uh, this sixth difference of F4 is not applicable or cannot be read in the table. And then if you're asked also to define the sixth difference of F3, it is still be not be applicable because we can't read that value from this table or with the values we have. So uh, if someone asks you to identify this value 46, 40, then you say 46, 40 is the first forward of F4. If someone asks you to uh, give the interpretation of this 840, then you say 840 is the fourth difference of F4. And then if someone asks you to give the interpretation of this say value 43, 78, then you say 4378 defines the third difference of F4. If someone asks you to read the value of the first forward of F9, 
And then from this table, you see, we can not need that value because actually the maximum we are going, uh, the values we have, the maximum is forward of F7. So this will be not applicable or cannot be read from the table we have. So that is how we read those values from the table and how we draw the difference table. And remember, you see, I said uh, this values obtained from a polynomial of degree five, which was x power five minus x squared plus nine. And we have seen that the fifth differences are always having the same value of 120, 120, 120. And actually that is a trend in general for all the difference tables obtained from polynomial functions. So theorem, uh, the fundamental theorem of finite differences The theorem states that <coughs> if f of x is a polynomial, of degree n, then the nth difference of f of x is a constant that all the values in that nth difference column will be constants, will have the same values and all higher order differences are zeros. That's what we have that when we have a polynomial of degree n, then if you draw a difference table, then all the nth difference will have the same value while any higher differences from that n will all be zeros. So try to actually see the applicability of this theorem on this few problems. So draw a difference table for the following functions. in the interval x is from zero to nine. So take values zero, values of x to be zero, one, two, three, four, up to nine. And so the first function is f of x given by x power four, minus x cubed plus 10. Next function is f of x equals to 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. C, f of x equals to 3x cubed plus 4x plus 9. D, f of x equals to 4x power 5 minus 9. And then E, f of x equals to x power 3 plus 4. F, f of x equals to x squared plus 2x plus one, g f of x equals to three x squared minus four x plus 10. So uh, draw up to sixth 
differences. And then uh, you'll see the reality or the truthness in the statement that if you are dealing with the polynomial of degree n, then the nth differences are always a constant. Thank you.